Welcome to Board Game Empire. So today we're going to be doing a, a how to play and playthrough of Dynamine, which will be on Kickstarter February 2nd. And this is a prototype of it. Okay, so we're going to be showing you um, just the basic setup and a brief how to play. And then of course we'll be doing a full playthrough. We really enjoyed this game. It, it's a lot of fun. If you like tile placement uh, games, point salad, it's it's very it's a very fun game. It kind of reminds me of um, in a lot of ways because there's a lot of in point bonus points that you add up at the end. Um, a lot of games like that, like uh, is it between two castles, between two castles, Castle Mac King Ludwig, mm -hmm. those type games where you're placing tiles. But the only difference is there's no um, <coughs> uh, well, there is a little bit like if you. You're doing um, levels, so if you have certain types of tiles with certain symbols on them in the same level, you get bonus points. There's a lot of ways to get um, in-game points, so it's a really fun game. It's, and it's even though it has those mechanics, it's also still unique in its on its own. So basically, what you're trying to do is to build the deepest mine. Um, each player starts with a mine entrance. You'll be building off of that. Um, each player also starts with a mission. My mission, it's called the main water well. Um, this symbol in the upper left means if I, on the fifth level, can build a tile with a well on it, I'll get four victory points. And that's an end game um, points that you get. The way you know which show which levels you're on, you have one through five. Each player gets five of these. And your first, obviously you start out with level one, so you put it to the left. And as you add more levels, you just put the level indicator to the left just to help you know how many levels down you are quickly. Um, you can only go to five. Uh, five right, so. you can't go lower than five. But it took me most of the game to get to level five. If, if you build out more, um, it just depends on how you go. The main rule of the tile placement is you have to match, um, for instance, this is two walls. You can't put a tunnel against a wall. And you can't change the orientation. The dice in the upper right corner always has to be in the upper right corner um, when you place it in your mind. Let me make sure I've got these in the right. Okay. Yep. And um, when you're setting up, as you can see, there's these letters with the with the little gems on them, and then you have your dice markers, which are one, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, that's to help you set up with the columns and rows. So the dice ones go on top. You have six columns and the A, B, C, D, E, F goes on the left and you have six rows. And at the beginning, you're going to be placing them like this and then flipping them over. As you can see, there's a, a black gem and there's a black gem on this card. There's a di one dice and there's a one dice up here. So it helps you to know which tiles start in which column. Um, and they progressively get less tiles as you get up to the number six die. And then when you're done placing them, you just flip them all the piles over um, once you have them in the right column and row. The, the way you get to choose the tiles is you're going to be flipping over a round token. The first player flips that over each round. You're playing over, is it 10? It's 10 rounds. 10 correct? rounds. So the game ends at the end of the 10th round. And there's 10 of these to help you know what round you're on. So you flip it over. These have all different things. Some of them give you the abilities you can use. Everyone's playing off the same round token, but the difference is each of us are going to be rolling a, a die to add to that total. So you start out, everyone gets three 
um, building points is basically what the dice mean. So you have three building points and whatever you roll gives you an additional building point. Um, they are ways to gain extra and I'll show that in a minute. So if you rolled this right here with this round token, you would have four building points to work with. And this is where these dice come in handy. You can build up to your four points. So um, you don't have to use all of them, but you could do one tile in the column four or you can do a tile from column three and column one because that adds up to four. You could do two from co column two because two plus two is four. So you get the point, it adds, you add up to your total dice and you can get up to four building points. So, um, and you're gonna wanna look at the tiles and keep in mind your mission. There's more missions and rewards you can get up here. If you roll a one, at any time, you could choose to move one of your tiles that are in the perimeter, not a main tile. You can't disconnect things that are connecting two tiles together. But any tile on the outside perimeter, you can move that if you want. Or you could take one of these mission or item cards. There's always three showing. So you could choose out of one of the face-up ones. Um, and those give you extra little abilities to do, like this mine plan that allows you to move one or two tiles. Um, the cave raven gives you an extra roll. Shh, sorry, our neighbors are moving their trash bins. And, um, the wall torches, basically this is an in-game bonus and you can see it says in-game bonus on it. If it's, so most of them a lot of them are extra actions, and it'll say extra action on it. They're very good about telling you, giving you hints to what they are. So if it says ex extra action, you can use that any time during the game, during your turn. You can use multiple ones. Um, there's no limit um, during your turn. It just has to be used during your own turn, any once during the game. So you get an extra roll, and I think that adds to your roll. The, the rule book's very good. It, it explains every card. This um, is one of the best rule books you've ever seen. It's a very good rule book. And it has pictures throughout, so as it's telling you how to play, it also has illustrations. So it made it really easy to um, pick this game up and figure out how to play it. So the Cave Raven, yes, you get to roll the dice again and add both results. So that you could get several tiles or one in the six probably pretty easily if, if you rolled well. Um, the wall torches one, it's an in-game bonus. So that one is at the end of the game, you receive two victory points for each dragon fossil in your mind. So that's one of the symbols I was talking about. It's a dragon fossil. So if you got that one, you would then want to kind of seek out the tiles with those dragon fossils on it because you're going to get two victory points at the end of the game for each of those you have in your mind. Um, what else? Oh, there's these little extra, um, that's an additional building point token. And the way you get those, you could see right here, there's one on this tile. When you get that, when you place that in your mind, you get to take one of these tokens to use once during the game. There's mines that have the little plus ones. When you build another tile in the future that connects to this, you get plus one added to your die, which is very helpful. And you would get it on that one as well when you connect to that one. Um, there's these altars. That's another symbol you'll be looking for. Um, on that tile, this one, they're worth either one or four points. This particular one is worth four victory points and for each of these, um, what are those called? Those little, it's the little blue gems. Sapphire. Sapphire. For each one of those you have in the same row yeah. as this tile, you will get one additional victory point. And there's um, mission cards that you can get as well from here. So that will give you additional missions to go for um, that are end of game. There's reward cards at the end of the game that you will be trying to obtain. 
basically the person on this one with the most, oh, and you want to make sure we're on the wrong side. These are two-sided. There's a two-player side, you can see in the upper right corner, and there's a three and four-player side. You want to make sure these are turned over on the correct side because for a three to four player game, two people can get the bonuses. So this one is the, and it tells you right here in the back of the book, the person, if you build a fossil tile at level five, wait, am I reading the right? No, I'm not reading the right one. Sorry. Wrong page. The one with the most fossils in its, in its mind. So... The first player will get four victory points. The second player with the most um, dragon fossils will get two victory points. This one is for the most water whales. And those look like... These. Yes. You can see the little whale. So the person that... The first and second player that gets the most whales will also get four and two victory points. Um, this one is... The one who builds the deepest mine. So if you get to level five and no one else does, you will get to that four victory points. If more than one person gets this um, in a tie, I believe everyone, yeah, everyone, gets, it. everyone gets it. Or the, both, everyone that got it gets it in a three to four player game. Um, in the event of a tie, yeah, on a three to four player game, for a tie for first and or second place, the players involved get the corresponding points. In a two-player game, no reward is given if you tie. It seems to be pretty easy to get to um, depth five, so yeah. I feel like you would tie a lot in most of your games. We did, we did tie on that. This one, you are the one with the most tunnel tiles in its mine, including the mine entrance, um, first and second player. This one, they're called veins. It's these little, um, to me they look like little, they're these little doors. doors. Like this one. So that one is the one with the most veins in its mind. And those are not corner. the gems there. That's right. one thing that we got confused on. They are the doors. Right. And then of course the altars, the little stone guys. So those are in-game rewards <clears throat> that you are also trying to obtain at the end of the game. Um, Trying to see, is there, and each of these tiles, also some of them have abilities. This one that says move tile, when you place that in your mind, you can move one of your tiles from your outside perimeter to a different location. Um, this else? one, when you um, get plus one on this, so let's say you connect one. When you connect one to any of these that say plus one, the white plus ones, that means that you get plus one to your die roll. So let's say you've got, uh, this was a three and, it's, and rolled a three, so that'd be six. You would actually get a seven die roll. Yep. And there's additional little extra, um, extras, and they go, they're really good about going over it for counting your points. Um, they go over the extra actions. And those are on the, a lot of these are on these round tokens. Um, there's a move tile one, so it allows, each player gets the opportunity to move a tile if they want. There's a re-roll. It allows you to re-roll the dice um, with, the benefit, a bonus. with the benefit of adding one point to the new result. So you only get that one plus one bonus if you re-roll the dice. Oops. <laughs> Happened. I just knocked him. Oh no, where were what they? What happened to the F? Oh, it's right there. As you can see, Sorry. we're making minor <laughs> mistakes here. <laughs> it's because I bumped them. Okay, then there's the question mark plus one. That one, you guess what you think your die roll will be. If you get it right, you get to add an additional plus one to your die roll. And then there's... Um, Oh yeah, the where you roll a one. I already went over that. So it also goes over counting your points. You get a certain amount of points per vein, which is on each tile. And then there's also bonus points um, on the on the wells. As you can see, there's an up down arrow. Those give you an additional point for every tile above and below it. So you get a victory point for those. Um, and it's also worth, um, the, 
well, the vein tiles, not the well, the vein tiles are worth whatever level they're on. So if they're level one or depth one, they're worth one victory point. If they're level two, they're worth two victory points and so on. Level three, level um, three points. The altars, like I said, they're worth one victory point or four victory points. And they're also, their value increases if there's a vein in the same row as them. The dragon fossils, no matter what level they're on, they award one or two victory points as indicated on the tile. They all have a little gem with a number on it. That's how many victory points you get for that tile. But like I said, if you have that mission or if you get the reward will get you four additional victory points if you have the most dragon fossils in your well. So there's, that's a good reason to get more of those. Um, am I missing anything? Did you cover how when you roll one, you're allowed to? Uh, oh no, the yeah. when you, I did. Okay, so that is the end of the how to play <laughs> segment. You have now reached the playthrough segment where you will see our playthrough of Dynamine. Yeah, so it's a fun game. So hopefully my um, sporadic how to play. <laughs> but you can watch us play it and learn it very quickly because it's 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 an easy game to pick up. So Quentin's the starting player. He's going to turn over the first uh, round token. The two. And so he has a two. four. No, uh. he has three. He rolled a one. So he either gets Ooh. to choose one of the reward cards, which that's what he would do since he can't move a tile. Okay, and then you always turn the next one over when one is taken. Okay, so how many can I buy? Three. He has three building points. So he's going to get... Boom. Boom. Okay. That's pretty cool. So he damage. got two number ones. He didn't use all of his points. Um, I will tell you the ones kind of block you off a he little is, bit. He is closed it. I can go here. Okay. Yeah, so he closed off his left and right. So he only has a choice to build down at this point. Okay, so we're all, we're all playing off of the round token. So I rolled a two. So I have four uh, building points. You can actually buy one of these. Mm-hmm. So, and my mission is, well, don't tell me. mine's on level five, so I have a while on mine. Mine's on level four. So, in my opinion, it's good to start with these that have the three-way tunnels. Because they kind of give you more um, to build off of, because you don't want to get trapped so there's a three. I still have one point left I can build. So I'm going to get one of the one token ones. Um, here. I'm see. I'm going to get. Can you get the well? That would be hard to do there. That would be better to build later. What are you going to do? I'm going to get this one because it's. Actually, no. This is normally 40 minute oh, news. Oh, shush. <laughs> There's not many good choices. So I picked that one with the altar. I wanted to pick the one that's worth four points, but I don't have a tunnel going up. And like I said, you have to keep them the same orientation with the dice in the upper right corner. So Anthony rolled a one as well. They're lucky with those ones. Okay, so I'm going to get... Oh, I'll show it to D4. It's from 1 to 4, in case oh, yeah. you wonder. There is no 5 or 6 on the dice. Right. That's one thing that we were wondering, like, why we weren't getting... So Anthony gets to take one of the plus 1 tokens to use any time he'd like. Oh, wow. Yeah, I get one more. That one's hard not to use. Okay. Okay, so you take this one back. Yep, so it's, it's a new here. round. So we, Quentin flips a new round token. And it is a four. Nice. But my world's going to be an eight. Ooh. Ooh, so he has seven buildings. Oh, those points. are eight. You're going to need it because you need to put one that gives you everything, which would be this one. Where? It's one of these to give you... Uh, 
multiple. Look, oh, or actually, this yeah, one. This one he's got. It's a better one. It's oh, a poor yeah. one. Oh, yeah. What's that? Is that a dragon head symbol? Let me see. What? Oh, it is. Woo! It's tiny. There's a little dragon. I wonder if we missed some yeah. when we were doing points. Because I was looking for the big ones. So that was mm. a five? And that's a seven? Okay. I'm liking my dragon symbols. It comes off to a pretty good start. I'll catch you in. Okay. I rolled a one, so I'm going to... I already have one, two, three, four dragons. I'm going to do the cave raven. So it gets me an extra roll I can use any time. Um, I have five points to work with. So... This one likes sapphires. Oh, do you need sapphires? For, for this guy, it's only one additional point, but... Almost all of them have sapphires on them. Are you actually going to do it? This one here. Okay. I got six. Ooh, so I didn't plan that very well because there's no sapphires, but... Oh, oh Quentin right. needs to put his level two token beside his death okay, two. Oh. Hey, bye. I'm a disadvantage because I'm looking. <laughs> hey, but you're better than um, Spacel than us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's one. I got one left. No, you stole my dragon. <laughs> mm. That makes me angry. All right. Okay, so Quentin's going to pull on your round token. Which is probably going to be free. Ooh, we roll for plus one. Ooh. Okay, so if you want to re-roll, you get plus you one added to it. It's the highest you can get. <laughs> that is the highest you can get. So, you have five building points. Oh, well, if you rolled a four, you could get plus one, but... He rolled a four. No, if he rolled it again, oh. you have to re-roll it to get the plus one. So, he would have to gamble and hope he rolls another four to get that plus one. What you, do? you know, to win, you have to go big. All right. Wow. <laughs> you know, you yeah. So Quinn has six building points. Woohoo! He's six, a gambler. Five. Plus one. Yeah. Oh, wait. This Four. one, doesn't that pip count? No. no? All right. I thought it did. Uh -uh. I thought it did too. So I have five. Are you sure? Yeah. I think it does, I think. Those pips on there count. Does it? It's just plus one to whatever roll you do. All right. Here you go. I did my five. That was lucky. Yeah. So I rolled a one, so ooh. <laughs> you I'm going to roll little... again. Ooh. So I have four. That was pretty lucky. <clears throat> What are you doing? I'm looking. What are you doing? <laughs> Reading for you. <laughs> we'll be here a while, Amanda. Oh, shush. Mm -hmm. oh, get... mm. Such a hard choice. Okay, I'm looking for upside down ammo. <laughs> You're going faster upside down. <laughs> I'm gonna take that one. So I put my round, my level two. Here we go. Plus one. Yeah. I'll put them over here so the camera Ooh. can see. I got four. What I'm talking about. You're supposed to put them to the left, but. Oh. 
And normally you would have your um, minds more spread out, but for the camera's sake, we have ours all scrunched together. The game, the game. Normally you would have more playing space than what we have. You can. Can you that one? This one. Yeah. So I got one more, and I am going to get. Actually, I can't do that one. The ones are hard to place because they either block you off or... I'm all spending money. Look how many Jagger Shimbles I have. One, two, So three, Anthony's four. playing his plus one to get an additional building point. So just give me two points for each Dragon Shimble. Right. I think so. Because that would be ten points. I believe it does. That would literally be ten points right now. Back hard. That would be ten points yep. right now. Wow. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Yep. For yeah, each dragon fossil, you get That's two That's 10 points. points. <laughs> Quinn kicked our butt last time, too. So, Is it a new round? Yep. Oh. Pick a new round tile. Three. I'm lucky. Two, five. Yeah, this is a good game to introduce new play new players into gaming. I think into games like this where it's like a point salad tile placement game because it's simple enough to learn without all the extra um, words we like between two castles and things, but they're a little bit more intricate as far as all the different things you're trying to place at the side to get all these bonuses. This one's um, more scaled down and a little bit more simple. So you're the newer players learning these type of games, it would be a great game for them to start with, I think. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a very hard choice. But there's a lot of strategy to this game. I'm going to have a hand Oh, wait. I need to. Now look is taking a while. Right. Hey! <laughs> What's a four? Yep. So Quinn's already on level four. What's my thing again? So I'm close two. I'm still free. That's my goal. I just completed my goal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you were looking for, Quinn was looking for this particular tile. So you can see it's pictured on that card. That fast. He has to place it in level four, and he gets five victory points. I think Quentin's gonna kick our butt this game. He's already on, yeah. he already has fifteen in-game points to solve <laughs> his two missions. Are you done? Mm hmm Okay. So I've got five to work with. One item, ten points. That wasn't really a wall. Six. Well, you probably only get six ones. I feel like the ones that for six aren't the best ones. Alright. Your turn. Let me to do because they give you those. Pick any round token. Oh. <laughs> you can get them. Three again. What are you doing? Picking? <laughs> I mean, you blocked yourself off. Uh, no, he's got a lot of. Oh, okay. 
You done? Mm hmm. Okay. Everyone who watches the channel knows mm -hmm. when you take a while. The one. The pit. Oh, wow. I already see the one you should get. This one? Yeah. So I'll get two points for every altar oh, I have that's pretty good. in my. Which I have two right now. And I have four to spend. So I'm going to be eyeing the ones with the altars. But we can always take those from you. Mm -hmm. Not from me, but you can build with them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Let's see. I'm sure you're going to buy one of those. Actually, you can. I'll pop you off. I'm going to do this one for one. And it's right here. And I get plus one, so that gives me five total. So I still have four that I can build with. Wow. My turn? Mm-mm. Oh. She just said she has four that she can build with. <laughs> so I'm going to... Did not process from your brain the words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, no, that one doesn't work. I'm listening to the fire truck. Oh. In the background. Mm -hmm. They probably can't hear it. No. Sounds close to here. Mm -hmm. And I have one more I can get for two. I'm going to do, actually... I want to block myself off. What are you doing? Yeah, my turn. I get one more, but oh, do you? I can't use them because I don't have anywhere to place it. Oh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> so I lose that one. So five. Wow, this one's that. Uh... Might be the perfect. Yep. That one is pretty perfect. Yeah. So I got one because they're connected. No, it's in the future. Oh, yeah. Four! So six. Down. Yeah, it's hard to place. That's one that I left. Goodness, there's one that's like this. Is that plus one? Oh, and you yeah. get the plus one token to yeah. use whenever. So you have three more left. I might use that. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Okay. To get it. Hey, give me them. Okay. Go right here. Okay. That's seven. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, little guy. It's fine. Okay, so. Wait. What? Oh, I can do this one. What are you doing? I have four left. I'm going to do this, and I have one left, and I'm going to do that one, 
And I get one point for each of those, including your mine entrance. I just lost how that's one, two, three points from that. Uh, one. So I am getting this one. That's your hold. Three points. And you can see this looks like it. It's a. It is a closed off wall up against a wall. So that's why I was able to place that underneath that one. No, it's one that I needed. <laughs> so Sorry. I think it's plus one. Yep. Oh, there's Did you do one your bit. one for? Yeah, I grabbed it. Okay. Yep. Two. Come on, four. Mm -hmm. oh, got your four. No, I made a wall <laughs> four. I mean, you tell me they can be four, but it's not allowed to put four. Can be more specific in what you ask for. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, I didn't place Ooh. my level four token. Oh. <gasps> no, nope, can't place that. Oh yeah. They're so hard to place. Yes, you could. No. Oh, there's a wall. Oh, yeah, there's a... It gets a tunnel. Yeah, he has to have a tunnel in there. Yep, it's only one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Four. So... That's a perfect fit. Do this one here, and I'm gonna place this one here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh. Your curse is getting one. Why are you rolling? It was it was like that. Hey. <laughs> I'm calling you a cheater. <laughs> I call cheats. Okay, it was like literally all tilted at 90 degree angle. Okay. Okay, so five. I'll do this one. Now you got one left. Oh, I just know there's an altar in there under the water. Yeah. You gotta kind of look for those symbols. There, some of them, as you can Ooh. see, it's an altar and a well. Your turn. Um, so it's a little hidden. Ew, what's a question mark plus one? What's a question mark plus one? Um, if you guess what you roll, get oh. plus one. So you guess I'm going to guess a you're... three. Okay. Oh. Still good though, four. You still got a four, you got a four anyway. I'm gonna use that to get free. Okay. He's using it right away, so. So how many do you have left? Three? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. This is a rough place to mine. Okay. All these. Ooh. Oh I didn't guess. Well I didn't guess. You need to you guess. Pick your one though. Mm hmm. Probably wouldn't. Let's see if I already have this one. That's an in game goal. I guess I'll get that one just in case. And I this one, I plan to place that here. So. Ooh. You want one. Oh, I need that. 
Oh, wow. That's not only for five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going okay, for it. I only had one to spend, so. My turn? Mm-hmm. Um, but guess, it was a good one. I'm going to guess two. Nope, one. No! <laughs> mm. And I can't get anything. Okay, yeah. we're done with the guessing game. We all failed to guess our numbers. <laughs> Move so now we can each move a tile if we want. Six. Yes. Okay. Let me move that. None of us have built level five yet. Nope. And there's only one more round after this. Are you moving any of your tiles? All mine are placed where I want them, but I'm just gonna okay. put some right there. Okay. How do you get six when you had four? Four, two. Oh, okay. Five, six. So Four more. The same number I got. Yes, I can move one, so I'm moving this one. Okay, okay. Choose them both. And I got six, so. You can buy one of these ones, these special ones. Oh, so let's hope they all have the veins, mm -hmm. the mine veins. Okay, these are very important. So. And I already know about this one. Oh, I forgot two. I can do my extra roll. I need to use that next time. The cave waving? It's the last two. round. I need to use oh, it. Oh, wow. It's the last round already. Mm-hmm. I need to get to five. Two. Wait. Four. Are we in the tenth round or the ninth one? This is the ninth right now. Four. Next <gasps> round's the last okay, round. Okay, good. I was going to get scared. I can get the five. Mm -hmm. Six. Okay. So Anthony got to level five. Three. Okay, so and last you move round, a tile. you can move a tile and you get three additional. You got one. You can get one of these. And then, I already have that one. Does that stack? Yeah. <gasps> Is it on level? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Quinn got lucky. He got the same. <laughs> mission card that he'd already completed so that's an additional five yes. victory points for doing nothing yeah. <laughs> i'm sure he won yeah i think he's won okay. okay and you're going to see me actually get this now i'm on to a fifth layer okay right i'm gonna roll twice so i have a one which you never know well again so three plus three is a six. That's a two. Two. Plus, um, plus my one original. This one is where you, you add up both rolls. Oh, okay. oh, okay. So that's six to spend. So I want to get a whale and an altar if I can. I'm pretty sure I won. <laughs> These aren't whales, are they? No, they have to be those little 
Suck no, it's not well. It's right just um, um. Okay, it's like a bowl of sapphires. I was hoping. It was wishful thinking. Wishful thinking never works out in the end. <laughs> Sometimes. Let's see. Are all these the same? <laughs> yeah. I never. I've never noticed that. This is going to be the longest turn, it's the last one. Two. What are you doing? Taking that back? No. Two. Uh -huh. So I'm, I have five levels. I have four more to spend. There are no whales left, so I can't do that one. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to complete my missions. Mine are all placed perfectly. I didn't even have to move any. So I'm gonna do this. Does that fit? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I so that's four or five. I actually have one left, but oh they are a little different. Those are. The ones mm -hmm. are only different. So I I can't use the one, so I'm done. The one. I do think you won <laughs> the game. Okay, so... You only have four, four things. You can move a tile if you wanted, but... The moving tile would only be good if you misplace something. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know it should move, but I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. Do you see it? I know one you should definitely move. Uh -uh. It would get you more points. It would get you two more victory points. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is. I have two more. You could still do it. Do you see which one? Yeah, it's that. Mm -mm. No. I wasn't, I was talking about moving one, he could move one. Oh, okay. Well, there's one that does give him two points. If he placed that somewhere. Really? You could have got four more points by moving and placing If you one. moved that one there, you would have got two more also, points. Also, you should have placed this mm -hmm. one for two points. I couldn't. You couldn't. Oh. Um, there's no place I could put it. Okay, so. This has to be in the top right. Oh, okay. yeah. It could. Are you done with your turn? You totally mm -hmm. got place it. So that, I just put this. So we're ready to score one. the game? Oh, okay. So we're ready to score? Okay. Yep. Okay, so we're now okay. counting our points. You definitely want to have a uh, score pad. Yep. Well, that's what he was getting when we weren't looking. Okay, so the way I do it, I go through the book. It's easier so you don't miss anything. So first we're counting points per, ve per vein. Each vein, ugh, each vein is worth the same level as it was built. Wow. So I have one there in level two. I only have one vein. <laughs> How is that possible? So two points. <laughs> okay, let's go over mine. Five, okay. nine, wow. 13, 16, 19, 21. Wow, he definitely won. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn is really good at this game. I love this yes, game. Seven. This is my favorite top placement game of all time. Yeah, Quinn loves this game. It's a, it's a great game. It seems so simple but it's very complex at the same time there's so many different strategies and it's it's a really fun game yeah. i hope this game funds oh i sure so hope it funds okay so um next we're going down to points for altars they either award one or four it's it's um tells you on there and then it increases based on what's in the row. So I didn't get any. I had one, two, I didn't have any sapphires. This one is four. So 
So that's six points, and I get one for the sapphire. So that's seven, eight, nine, thirteen. So I have thirteen for my altars. You didn't have any altars? I get it. No. Three, two, right? Mm-hmm. Is that it? Yep. Wow, you're just racking up the points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did very well this time. Okay. <laughs> then we're looking at our whale tiles. They're either worth one or two, and every tile above or below it is worth one additional point. So it's two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have one that's worth one, two, three. Four. Four. Oh. If you get one for that tile, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I got four. Okay. And then you do your points for your dragon fossils. They're worth whatever is shown on the thing. I don't have any of those. Three. Three? Uh, yeah, and I have one. Okay. Then the rewards. So, um... We're going over mine first. No, these rewards. Oh, okay. Okay, so who has the most I have five dragon symbols. fossils? Uh, I have one. I have five. It's like fine Waldo. I have one. I have one. I have five. So Quinn gets the four points. Anthony and I both get two points. Okay. Next is for the whales. Oh, okay. sorry, little guy. I know. I got I one. I have one, two. I have one. I have one. So I get four, and they each get two points. Okay. We all built five, so we all get four points. So that was kind of... Nothing. Um, oh, wait. Let me... Don't want to put that over my... Okay. The most altars, I think me. Zero. Two, three, I have one. Four, five, six. I have six. So I get four points. Anthony gets two. Quentin gets zero for that. The most veins. One, two, oh, yeah, three, I four. I have three. One, two, three, four, five. So Quentin gets four points. Anthony gets two. I get zero. And last is the most tiles in your mind, including your mine entrance. One, two. 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 18. I have 21. 18. 17. Um, so four for me, one. two for Quentin, zero for Anthony. And now we're um, doing our missions. Okay, so I'll do mine. I have 10. So 10 points for your wall tiles. And I have both of these, so 20 total. So 10 more for those two? Yep. Okay. Oops. I have my in-game bonus is my two times every one of my altars. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12 points. Wow. That one's actually worth a lot. And I didn't meet these two missions, so I don't get anything for those. I get two for having water. You only had one whale? Yeah. <laughs> I have one as well. I didn't get this one. And I don't know what this one entails. Oh, that's for each level. That is support beams. At the end of the game, receive one VP for each depth level of your mind. So you get five VP for that. All right. Okay. Did we count everything? Yep. Yep. Let's see my super score. Okay. Guess you got 62. Quinn definitely won. I think I got 71. Sixty-four. You're almost accurate. So you got the same you got yesterday. Really? Yeah. The same amount of points. What did you get yesterday? No, we got fifty-four yesterday. Oh, uh, okay. I 50. got ten more points. So you got a little better. Yeah. I truly love this game. This is my favorite top placement game I've ever played. <laughs> Okay, I did bad. You don't have to recount. <laughs> Just make sure I count them right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, that's how it looked like. These, did he literally scored this low. <laughs> <laughs> I came close to Quentin. What? How? No way. I have 55 points. If really? I if I had gotten my two missions, I would have beat you by one point. What? So Quinn got 64, I got 55, and Anthony got wah, wah, 33. <laughs> 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 but last game, Anthony and I each got 32 and 34. So I did much better this game than our first game. Anthony did not progress. He did worse. <laughs> Actually, I think you got one point more. You improved by one point. Hey. Good job, good job. You improved by one point. Any improvement to improvement. But I would have beat Quentin by one point if I could have finished my in my mission. But yeah, this is a really fun game. We will put the link in the product or in the link in the description to the Kickstarter. To the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm which starts in February 2nd. Is it yeah. February 2nd? I think so. So, um, it shows in the box. If you um, like tile placement, point salad with a lot of endpoint bonus games, missions, you would love this game. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and, it is. And this is just the prototype. So I don't, we don't know what the end product will look like. I'm super excited. Yeah. Mm. The prototype, as you can see, to me, it looks like a finished product and the rule book, I'm so, I'm, that's one of my pet peeves are rule books. They did a phenomenal job on the rule book. We had no problem whatsoever because there's no videos or anything on this. We had to learn from the rule book and we were able to honestly start playing within minutes because it's just the setup, everything is just illustrated so well. And they even go as far as showing you examples of what they're talking about. Um, they took a lot of time on the rule book and did a, a very good job. So this right. is a great game. So hopefully we didn't miss a rule. <laughs> if we messed up, we're sorry, but I really think we got this down. But we're human, so we may have messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely check I this game out. I don't know if these icons count. I still yeah, would have won. Yeah, they, they do. do. They oh, do. Okay. They do. Yeah. Because it's like little fine wall though, if you see them. It's just the, the symbols you're looking for on those. Oh, okay. Bonuses. Because they don't have the extra one bonus point thing there. Yeah. So definitely, definitely check out this game. Yeah, this game's an amazing <laughs> top placement game. If you love top placement and point stat, this mm -hmm. might be your new favorite board and game. And Quentin loves this game. Yeah. Like he couldn't wait to play it again. So we're hoping, we don't know if we get to keep the prototype. We kind of <laughs> hope we do. <laughs> but if not. If not, maybe when the. Uh, <laughs> The final cop comes out. Yeah, and who knows? I mean, I've sure sold his back. And depending on the price, I mean, if we don't get to keep this, this is definitely one we would consider backing. Because oh, absolutely. Yeah. Quinn loves it. And we love, and this is one that would make it to the table a lot because you wouldn't have to relearn it completely. You might have to brush up on the rules for five minutes, but. Yeah, but if you play tile placement games, right. this is very similar, and so it would be easy to teach to relearn. Right. Yeah. Like a few, like we play a lot of tile placement games, so the mechanics were really easy for us to pick up. But even if you haven't played them, this is a great game to start with because it is simple enough. Um, the way it's set up for you to to learn the the mechanics, but also do very well at it. So I think it's a a great game, and I really do hope it. Fun. This is a really good gateway game. If you're good into top placement games, this is one of the <laughs> best ones that you could buy. Right. So thank you for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like. Um, we love comments. Anthony responds to comments daily. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of games in our queue to do from all over the world. We've started getting games from all over, so it's really exciting. Um, so hopefully it's games you haven't seen before, because I know I know we haven't seen a lot of these no. games. <laughs> like this game, like this game is another game that has from around the world mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So thank you again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!